In Spain of 1495, baby Hernando de Soto was born in the province of Badajoz. Even though his family was noble, his birth city did not suit his nobility. As de Soto grew up, he gained fame as a horseman, fighter, ah! and tactician. Additionally, he was inspired by Juan Ponce de Leon and Ferdinand Magellan. Are you the one? <sighs> Pedro Arias de Vila funded de Soto's education at the University of Salamanca. In 1514, de Vila invited Hernando to accompany him in the expedition to the West Indies. I am looking for explorers to the West Indies. You, come with me. <gasps> yes! Now my parents can't force me to be a lawyer. On his voyage, De Soto visited Panama and Nicaragua in the West Indies. In 1521, De Soto's hobby of gambling got him into trouble. Instead of winning gold coins, he was given native slaves of Panama as his prize. And naturally, the natives became angry and revolted. With the help of Francisco Pizarro, De Soto drove the natives into the mountains and conquered Panama as Spain's own. Where did they go? Yes! Then, in 1531, De Soto became one of the richest men in Nicaragua due to his slave trade. He aimed to become even richer by finding gold, which was rumored to be in abundance there. Unfortunately, the rumors of gold proved untrue and the natives became angry with De Soto once again, driving him out of Nicaragua when he tried to fight them. Show me the money. We don't have any money. Show this man to the door. I can see it from here. In 1541, Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain funded De Soto on his first quest to Florida with orders to start a Spanish colony and govern it. Upon his arrival, he once again searched for rumored gold. <laughs> again, there was no gold to be found. So De Soto continued in a northern direction throughout North America. He passed through Georgia, the Carolinas, Tennessee, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. His quest enabled him to expand on the map of North America he was created. In early 1542, De Soto and his crew of 620 men stumbled upon the Mississippi River and mistook it for the Rio Grande because of its surprising size. Soon after, De Soto took ill with a fever. After his death that May, his comrades buried his body in the Great River. His successor, Luis de Moscoso, led the remnants of the expedition on rafts down the Mississippi, finally reaching Mexico in 1543. I'm sorry, boys. <coughs> My lifespan is about to end, just like this rock. I'm going to the other side. Goodbye, world. Ow, that's too short. Ow, ow, ow. Fernando de Soto will always be remembered in our hearts for mapping the southern U.S. and exploring west of the Mississippi River. Goodbye, Earth. I'm exploring the places now. 
Honestly, in my opinion, I think Hernando de Soto was a pretty pathetic explorer. Excuse me? You try searching for gold for 21 years. That's dedication.